It was unprovoked, but this is what Russian President Vladimir Putin unleashed on Ukraine as the sun came up this morning. A missile striking an industrial park in western Ukraine. A helicopter assault on an airport outside of Kiev. Close, intense fighting. And there are civilian casualties. Local officials say this apartment building was struck in eastern Ukraine. Heartbreaking images of people, bloodied, staggering out of their homes. And this is what remains of another family's apartment. A baby stroller among the debris. We travel to this Ukrainian military installation near the eastern port city of Mariupol. This radar station took a direct hit. Russia is picking off Ukraine's military facilities one after another. But Ukrainian troops are fighting back, and Russia is also suffering losses here. Ukraine says it's destroyed some Russian tanks using American-supplied missiles, that this is a damaged Russian helicopter, and that it has captured some Russian soldiers. On day one, the army has been holding strong, but they're being pushed to the limit by Russia's full-scale invasion with attacks across Ukraine, which is the size of Texas, from areas near those pro-Russian enclaves in the east to the capital, Kiev, in the west. Even capturing the still radioactive Chernobyl nuclear reactor. It all began from a desk before dawn, when Russian President Vladimir Putin declared a special military operation on Russian television. Russia cannot feel safe, develop and exist with a constant threat emanating from the territory of modern Ukraine, he said, describing the government in Kiev as a junta of neo-Nazis determined to build nuclear weapons. It was a split-screen moment, Putin announcing his assault as his actions were slammed at the UN Security Council, Ukraine's ambassador blasting Russia's representative. The Russian president declared the war on the record. Should I play the video of your president? There is no purgatory for war criminals. They go straight to hell. Later, after Putin stopped speaking on cue, the missiles and airstrikes began. Russian tanks rolling